Hey guys, and welcome to Diecast Reviews. Today I'll be doing a review on the Thunder Hollow 5 pack that I'm pretty sure is only available in Walmart and is exclusive to Walmart. However, I think if you don't have a Walmart in your area, uh, it might be sold somewhere else. Like, I think Asda might carry this in the UK. I'm not sure. If you're from the UK and you found this Thunder Hollow 5 pack, or you've seen this Thunder Hollow 5 pack, uh, let me know where you have seen it if you don't have a Walmart. Because I don't believe UK has a Walmart. Um, but if they do, let me know as well. So, uh, yeah, Thunder Hollow 5 pack, Demo Derby, the same, come back, same logo they use on those um, uh, Demolition Derby cars, the singles that are associated to Walmart, Cars 3. This pack has the first look at T-Bone, as well as Cruz Ramirez's Francis Beltline, Lane McQueen's Chester Robert Filter, APB, and Fishtail. Now, first look doesn't mean anything, except that it's just uh, available first in this pack, because um, I think Mattel started to do that after um, the... They uh, labeled their cars exclusive, so T-Bone might be an exclusive, but remember Clutch Foster? Exclusive, re we released this year in a single. Not very exclusive. Alloy Hamburger, same thing. Exclusive, not really released, re-released in a single this year. So, that's why they're putting first look, because it doesn't guarantee you that T-Bone is only in this set, but it doesn't give you really any confirmation. It doesn't, it doesn't... Confirm or deny he will be re-released. Like, ABP and Fishtail, they have already been released in a single. Cruise Marines and Francis Beltline, Lime McQueen, Shishpup Filter. Of course, they've been released as those two are pretty much, like, two of the main characters with Jackson Storm as well. So, there's the Lane Lock 5 pack that I will also review. Um, I think this one's coming out. So, this video is coming out uh, the 26th, and I'm recording this on the 26th. So, this video is coming out in two days. I believe this one's coming out on Tuesday with Lane Lock. Right, I think twenty eighth is Tuesday, right? Yeah. So Lane Lock, Murray Clutchburn, Chick Chick Hicks with that set, Nelly Certain and Ponchy White Bat. So it's almost a derby night at Thunder Hollow Speedway and the crazy crashing action is about to begin begin. Recreate scenes from cars three. So I will be showing pictures for these cars, but only for Fishtail, APB, and T-Bone. I will not be showing a picture for Cruz and Lightning because, like, the background characters, those are the ones you don't really remember where they appear. But, like, Cruz and Chester, or Cruz Ramirez and Chester Ripple, or, yeah, Cruz and Lightning, you know that they just, you know, appeared. You, they were the focus. Like, Fishtail was not the focus. He just, you just saw him racing around a little bit. ABP was not the focus. T-Bone actually had a speaking line. Actually, so did ABP, but ABP, so ABP was the focus on, like, one scene when she came out. She was, she was like, to protect and swerve, to not serve, but to swerve. And T-Bone, you know, he's all this shape. Um, we'll talk about him later in detail, but he basically got put back in shape. But um, we'll talk about that later. So, yeah, let's get, so I'll be back with this five-pack out of the package. So here they are out of the package. Um, we'll start with Chest Ripple Filter and Cruz Ramirez first. Kind of the boring ones. Get the boring ones out of the way and then go on to these awesomely detailed Demolition Derby cards. T-Bone's probably my favorite. T-Bone, Fishtail, and ABP's probably second. Tie, uh, I think T-Bone and Fishtail. I think T-Bone and then Fishtail and ABP are tied for second. So let's start with, let's start with Lightning McQueen here. And I didn't professionally do this. But, um, so yeah, here's Lane McQueen. S to Ripple Filter. I have not reviewed him yet because I have that two pack, the Luigi, Luigi and Guido with Rag. And I have not gotten around to reviewing that, so this is my first time reviewing Lightning McQueen here. So, yeah, if you saw the movie, spoilers, kind of, I guess. I think it's out in all countries because DVD's out. So, he wanted to be incognito. And so, you know, Mac. Uh, took him to the Demolition Derby, or McQueen wanted to go to the Demolition Derby, but Luigi thought it was too public. Well, Mac had this idea of Luigi spraying dirt onto McQueen's uh, into onto McQueen's body to cover him in dirt so no one would know. And then here, as you can see, Guido took a rag and like wiped off some dirt to make the number fifteen for like McQueen. So, and he is the Cars One model, not the Cars Three model. We'll compare him to the Cars Three model. So, you can see he has, like, a slightly worried expression, I would say. Um, I think that's just a neutral expression. I don't really know what that means. An expression like Cruz is here. She has a happy expression. 
ABP has more of a mad, determined look. The McQueen, mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's worried or, or not, but so he has the blue eyes. Um, you can see he's completely covered in dirt, except his mouth, his eyes. His tires are even covered in dirt, even though they're a little bit different shade of dirt. I guess Luigi used different dirt. His roof flaps, his spoiler, and you can kind of feel the texture of the dirt. So very, very cool. Not much to go over on him, except that he's, you know, brown. Has a lot of dirt on him, and has the number 15. Let's do a 360. So like I said, I will be showing pictures of every car except um, Cruise and Lightning. Cause you can, uh, so I'll be pretty much showing pictures of T-Bone, ABP, and Fishtail. So there's a 360 Alain McQueen, you know, probably my least favorite. Well, Cruise, him or Cruise from this set because, you know, they're just the main characters. Um, and they've been re-released a lot, but... When I bought the set, it was five new, like, all the five characters are new for me, because McQueen, I didn't open McQueen yet, I hadn't found Cruise yet, and I have T-Bone, of course, the first look, and ABP and Fishtail are, like, brand new. So, I hadn't opened up my Light McQueen, that's just super filter yet, I hadn't found Cruise yet, I had not found her at the time I got the set. So, pretty much five new characters for me. So, now let's compare Lightning McQueen to a couple Cars 3 counterpart, counterparts. So to start, we have um, the Rusty's Racing Center Lane McQueen, which is the one that Chester got covered up, or Lane McQueen got covered up in dirt while he was in this paint job. So when he got revealed by Mr. Drippy, or no, not unintentionally revealed by Mr. Drippy, the Rusty's Racing paint job was the one you saw. So um, this doesn't really make sense for them to be different models. You can clearly see the different models. Doesn't make sense at all. I think the Cars 3 model is starting to grow on me. Here is um, the Cars 1 Lane McQueen with rubber tires. See, he's definitely the same model as Chester Ripper Filter. So I don't know, maybe they should have just kept. They definitely should not have made a bunch of different models out of these cars. They definitely should have either just kept the Cars 1 model all the way through Cars 3. Um, I actually don't know if he was a different model in Cars 3. I don't remember. I didn't really pay attention to his model. I think he might have been the Cars 1 model. So I don't know why they made a, a different model. Um, and then, yeah, and then, so they made a car, uh, ma they made a different model for Light McQueen. And then made the same model for Chest Ripple Filter as Light McQueen. That makes no sense. So, anyways, here we have Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beltline. Um, that's the name she used to get into the Demolition Derby. You can also see she, she kind of covered herself up as she just kind of had also, I guess, had Luigi spray dirt on her a little bit. Kind of looks like a Ford from the back. So, you can kind of see he sprayed dirt around the front of her. On the front, the sides. I feel like the detail on the dirt made it more black down there. The tires are completely black, of course, or brown. And in the movie, she actually had the Rusty's Racing Center 95 covered up. But I believe that's going to be for the Super Chase, which is like literally that's the only difference. I don't know why, but they made that a Super Chase. Why they can just made it on the, the Francis Outline version. You can see her license plate is CO106A. I believe that's Crystal Alonzo, the person who voiced her's birthday. So, um, January 1st. Uh, er, no, not January 1st. January 6th. So, number 20, of course, that's this number pi the pity's painted on her. So, I don't know if the pity just randomly choose what number. Or they have, like, a number, like, like, let's say the last person who came in the demolition derby without a number got 19 then 20 so like 20 cars came into the demolition derby without a number i don't know but um very very nice probably i do think i like her better than lane mcqueen so now let's compare her to the regular cruz ramirez so here is the regular cruz ramirez 
See the wheel, the rims are the same. I think it looks like they are. But I don't see the brake calipers. See, I think those gray things there are the brake calipers, and I don't see them on this cruise. So, I guess the brake calipers were gone. Unless, unless they're there. I don't, I don't really know. So, looks like she kept the same expression, unlike Lightning McQueen, who, you know, didn't keep that expression. Because McQueen got a new expression, he got a new body, which makes no sense. But it looks like Cruz's body here is the same as the regular Cruz. So, yeah. So that's it for Cruz Ramirez here. Let's make, let's do a quick 360. I don't know why it became so dark all of a sudden, but yeah. Oh, that's way too blurry. All right. So, yeah. So that's it for Cruz Ramirez. And let's go on to Fishtail. Shall we? Let's go on to Fishtail. Here. So here's fishtail. Very, very cool. So I think fishtailing means like you hit a patch of something and you start doing this. So, you know, I guess he may have fishtailed a lot because the dirt is slippery, as Cruz said in the movie. Uh, I don't know. I can't steer. So fishtail is a very, very cool model. Um, I don't really know what he's, car he's based on, like a regular sedan. Is he a coupe or is he a sedan? I think it's like he's a coupe. Uh, but, you know, he has this very determined, I wouldn't say mad expression. I would just say he's very determined. This red little hole in there for no reason. He has these headers where the smoke comes from. Extra exhaust, I think. I don't think he has any lights. Yeah, no lights. A bunch of dents. I think he's one of the more, more most dented demolition derby cars we've had. So he has this like blue color in the middle of him, and then around he has like this lie, 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 yeah, what's that? He has like this um, turquoise color in the middle, he has like this blue color. Um, so yeah, he's very determined. As we go on to the side here, he has these gray like wrenches painted on his wheels. And looks like he's sponsored by Wild Bill's Racing Cones, he's number 96, he has Bill. Up on the roof, on only one side, not on the other. And Bill's actually a demolition derby car in himself, or not? Not the. I wouldn't say the Bill that owns Wild Bill's racing cones a demolition derby car, but there is a demolition derby car called Bill, number eighty six, the Luxo Ball. That's his design. So Wild Bill's racing cone sponsors him. And the th cool thing about Wild Wild Bill's racing cones is that there is a um. Uh, a, a car. I don't remember. I think Jambalaya Michanga maybe or a. Uh, uh, one of those demolition derby cars who's also exclusive to Walmart comes with a sign that says Wild Bill's Racing Cones. So he's number 96, as I've said. Um, we'll get to the roof later. So he has this like turquoise design, and then back to this blue design, number 96 on the back, and these like zigzag lines that supposed to represent fishtailing. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, what was I going to do? Oh, like this looks like a board he's stuck on there. See how dented it is, and then kind of see it's peeled off, or not peeled off, but it's a different, like, it's a different texture, or not texture, but it's, like, put on there. Then, he's also boarded up these windows back here, and looks like he's boarded these ones up back here. I'm not really sure why demolition derby cars board up their windows, but they do. You can see he's got non-treaded tires on the front and treaded tires on the back, which is pretty cool. So, this side is the same, it looks like, except, like, the Wild Bill racing cones, you know, it's turned around so you can read it. Actually, that makes, yeah, never mind. Um, so 96 Wild Bill's Racing Cones again, although I think Racing Cones should be on this side, so it makes sense, because now you're reading Racing Cones Wild Bill's, kind of, if you would, you know, read it left to right. So number 96, Bill, um, you can kind of see how his roof on the top is red, his roof is red, that's pretty much the only red, main red color on him is the roof, it's red. With a blue circle that says 96 in red. So it kind of looks like what Guido did to Lightning McQueen here. That he painted his roof red. Then he painted a blue circle. And then someone took and wiped some of the blue paint off while it wasn't drying. And look, he has some, some rust on here. That's pretty cool. Some like red rust. Oops. Sorry about that. Very, very cool. So some people have kind of compared him. Can't really make this comparison. That's very light over there. Can't really make this comparison, but have kind of some people have kind of compared him to Murray Clutchburn. 
Um, I think one of the cars won Murray Clutchburn, but here's the car stayed Murray Clutchburn. Kind of similar in the designs. That's really the only reason to compare them to. This is the Cars 3 Marie Clutchburn, which I might just add that Marie Clutchburn had like the oldest model in Cars 1, like that square model, and uh, it makes no sense for him to be racing still. Uh, but, um, so here's the Cars 1 Marie Clutchburn, which might be a little more similar to Fishtail, but still not that similar. So, um, some pictures are going to appear up here for a fishtail. Um, definitely a very, very cool car. You can see he didn't appear that much in the movie. Just a couple places in where he appeared in the movie. So, yeah. Now, let's move on to uh, APB here. Who is the police car in the Demolition Derby. So, no, she doesn't go around and give everyone tickets for driving too recklessly. She's just, like, there's an ambulance in the Demolition, der in the Demolition Derby. There's a police car in the Demolition Derby. There should be a fire truck. That would be cool if Pixar made that. So, you can see, again, no lights. And she has more of this mad expression. I think Fishtail here has this determined. And ABP's mad. And T-Bone's just happy. I don't know. Um... So yeah, just black. Also very, very dented on the hood. You can see he has, she has these um, headers as well. So on the side here, she has this white um, on the wheels as well as on the back. This little like sand timer thing. Um, and you can see definitely she was just black. I don't think she was ever a real police car. I'm not sure because then she would definitely have like the white paint on here. But it looks like she just painted um, the white paint on there and painted the um, star on there. So you definitely a lot of black showing through. Like, I don't know. Uh, I doubt she was a real police car before because look, she just painted the white on there. And that looks like a very bad paint job of the white. Same thing with this like. I mean, the star is fine, but you can see some overlaps there, which a real police station would, like, I think have, like, printers painting it on you, and computers, not self-hand, or self-painting. So, then it says The Law, also painted very sloppily, number 54 is, like, dripping. Dripping, the four is, like, dripping, which is very, very cool, a very nice feature. It says You Can Run on the back, so I guess you can run from ABP, but you can't hide from ABP. Kind of like from police, I guess. I guess that's the joke. The 54 is painted a little bit differently. And it says the law. And this is also sloppy. So this definitely, I don't think she was a police car. Because it's painted very, very sloppily for it to be a real government-like print on there. So then more white paint sprayed up here on the fenders. She has like this push bar thing. So you can like... Say if T-Bone was in a crash and couldn't drive, and she was a real police car, she would come and push him out of the way of traffic. So the roof is completely white. See, the roof is completely white with some black splotches on there, and the uh, light bar. Don't think this is an error. That's how it really was. She had red, um, white, and this would either be red, white, it would either be red, white, red, or red, white, blue. So she's more of this older style, I guess, of a car, like high impact. Well, high impact's also kind of an old style car. And let me just say, high impact is really growing on me. Like when I first did the video on her, I don't think I thought too highly of her, but every time I look at her, she, I like her more and more. I do really like the design and the model of her. So yeah, um, back to ABP here. Very very nice model. Very 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 nice car. Um, but definitely, I don't think she was a real police car. Let me know, do you think ABP was a real police car or no? Do you think she was a real police car before she joined the Motion Derby? Or do you think she just painted all that on there? I personally think she was never a real police car. So some pictures will also show up right here on the screen. I don't, I, now, her I definitely didn't find a lot of pictures for. I just found the to protect and swerve picture of her and... Uh, one picture where she was just crashed. So you'll see them coming up on the screen. So yeah, EBP, very, very nice. Let's do a proper 360. And move on to the last one and probably my favorite, or definitely my favorite from the set, T-Bone. 
Now, before we start, you can see how he's this weird shape, and he definitely drove weird in the movie. Well, he drives, they made the die cast, so he drives left, his left, my right, as I'm facing it. But you can see I'm not pushing him to the left, he's just driving to the left. So, uh, let's get an aerial shot here. I'm just going to start him right there, and push him from the back and I mean that's a bad place to do it because it's a turntable but trust me on this he just drives left he drives left he goes left he that's the way his wheels are made for him to go left like his wheels are turned that way to go left so yeah let's start with T-Bone here he's this gold color it says park up on the um hood there I guess he has some three te he has three teeth which I mean fishtail has a couple buck teeth and AP doesn't even show a teeth but um I do like the reason I really like T-Bone is he has like all these street signs everywhere so I guess he's not obeying other appropriate street signs like Mr. Fritter says so, so West California 40 or not West California but California to the west interstate 40 so definitely on the east coast I think, well, I mean, they could be on the East Coast, they could be in Colorado, but I think they were, like, in North Carolina, somewhere there. Truck route, so that's pretty cool, they use those two street signs. He has, like, this ornament thing up here, kind of like fishtail, and I don't really know what that does. So let me know if you know what that ornament ornament is. Um, on the side, his number is 45, painted very, very big. Um, of course, the gold, again, the gold paint. Um, I do like his... Wheels, like there's, he has like three different wheels. So he has this wheel that's just a bit blue on both tires. He has this with the hubcap on his wheel and like a sand timer. He has this with no, like this hubcap's like, you can see those like dots. This doesn't have those dots and it's a sand timer paint job as well. And this one's just the same one as the first one. That's pretty cool. He has the back window again boarded up. It looks like, I don't know why the demolition derby cars board their windows up. Let me know. I guess they don't want anyone hitting them and smashing them. My assumption is, but then why don't board up your lamps? Which looks like T-Bone also doesn't have his lamps. Number 45. So, um, I never really paid attention to the sign, but, um, I think the 45 means that, like, it's for his number, like, as his number. Because he also has speed limit 45, and the reason it's 45 and not 50 is because his number is 45. So on the back here, he also has these headers, like the other ones do. And another dot thing. I don't know why that's on there. 45, dead end. Um, dead end, if you hit T-Bone, I guess you're dead. Is that what that's implied to? I, not, I don't know. But 45, it says T-Bone up here on the roof. And he has like these, he's mainly gold, but he has these like two blue racing stripes going down um, his whole body and his, his like, eyes are outlined in blue as well as his mirrors or not mirrors windows and then it says speed limit 45 now here's the cool part on t-bone you can see he probably got hit really hard he got t-boned right here in the side and it crunched him in half like he was straight before but now he's crunched in half and in the movie in the movie the reason i brought high impact is well one to pretty much show you what happened in the movie so T-Bone's, you know, he's he, he can't go that fast. High Impact comes racing up, pounds him. They both crash. High Impact really crashes into T-Bone. And then T-Bone is, oh, look, Ma, I can drive, and races off, and he can drive. That was his line. He said, oh, look, Ma, I can drive, and he, he got straight again. And he raced down, really happy that he could drive. And who comes here but none other than Two-Face Pileup and ruins his dream, runs into the side of him. And they crash, and T-Bone's sitting there looking very, very sad as Taco races through. And I'll show pictures of that on the screen right about now. Right here, it'll appear right here. Again, like I've said a bunch of times before, but yeah, so... Um, there'll be a lot of pictures for T-Bone, mainly because he actually had a speaking role in the movie, and he was the focus of, like, a couple scenes. And that was probably one of the more funnier comic relief, not comic relief, but one of the more funnier moments with, like, you know, he can't drive, high impact hits him, he can drive, and then pile up runs in the side of him, and he can't drive again, correctly. So, yeah, it's like, 
go around a couple of times, but yeah, so, um, there's quite a bit of pictures for T-Bone. So, let's compare him to High Impact. Um, kind of similar if T-Bone was, like, straightened out. He definitely would be very similar to High Impact, but, you know, he's not straightened out, so he's not that similar to High Impact. They're both more of these old boxy type cars. Now let's do a proper um, 360 guess on T-Bone. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for my review. Let me know which car from the set do you like best. I think I like T-Bone or Fishtail after looking um, at them closely. Yeah, this is the Francis Boltline version. Put her there, put ABP in the middle. And put Lady McQueen off the, the side here. No one really cares about these two. Him and her. So yeah, let me know which one do you like best of the five cars in this set. And what's your second favorite? My favorite is T-Bone. My second favorite is Fishtail. My third favorite is APB. And then I think my fourth favorite is Cruiser Ramirez. And I don't really like Lady McQueen. I should have to remove the filter. Especially since he's the wrong model. And it's just a brown car with like number 15 on the side. So yeah. So, that will do it for this video. I'm um, sorry for rambling on a long time and for this being, like, what, 20-minute video, I think? Kind of like my case video. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know which one's your favorite and your second favorite. And um, I'll see you on Tuesday, I believe, for the Piston Cup 5-pack. Another 5-pack five five video. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know which one's your favorite and your second favorite. Um, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.